welcome one and all to an another interesting session of english today we will learn something about letter writing now you all know letter writing is an important and integral part of writing session this is equally important for the school students as well as the grown ups now generally what happens uh, most of the time in the lack of proper knowledge of how to frame and how to write proper letter things go wanting now in this session we will concentrate on how letters should be written in proper way now as we all know letter writing is broadly classified into two categories first of all the formal letters and the second one is the informal letter now as far as formal letters are concerned in the formal letters we have business letters we have official letters whereas in informal letter we have the personal letters now first of all we should know what is the difference between formal and informal letters or maybe we can say what is the difference between the word formal and the word informal now the word informal it means without formality or ceremony or maybe we can say not according to the prescribed official or customary way or manner whereas the formal means marked by form or ceremony or maybe we can say which is very conventional if you like to have an example maybe the school students when they go to school so generally they go in a formal dress they have a formal wear so that's a official dress code so it's a formal wear we can take out the meaning from that sense also maybe to make things more clear nowadays you know suppose we have to invite someone to our home generally either we make a call telephonic call or we send an sms maybe this can be termed as informal way of inviting someone whereas generally in marriage cards when we invite someone to to the wedding of son or daughter in that whenever we invite someone so we have things printed on a piece of paper that is a formal way of inviting our friends and relatives so that is a difference between formal and informal so one should know exactly the difference between formal and informal to make things clear as far as letter writing is concerned now initially we will concentrate on the layout of an informal letter what should be the proper layout of an informal letter now first of all everything will be written on an extreme left hand side or we can say the entire letter will be left aligned now when we start the things we will start from the heading part now the heading part always includes the address of the sender that means the person who is sending the letter he will write his name sorry he will write his address now as far as address is concerned see how the things should be done first of all whatever your address is you can write the things just like this but make it clear don't put a comma or a full stop they will be considered as wrong and everything should be left aligned see everything is left aligned it should be in a straight line now whatever your home address is or whatever your postal address is that will come in middle you can use punctuations but at the end of the statement don't you you don't use any punctuations now once the address part is over second thing which is the most important thing is the date part now the date part is also very very important whatever date on which you are drafting a letter that date will be written over here suppose today is 24th so we will write 24 but don't write 24 like this nowadays we prefer 24 like this or maybe straight away just write down 24 followed by the month and then the year also apart from this don't follow any other patterns don't put any comma don't put any full stop as far as date is concerned another way maybe another way of putting up a date can be when you can write the month earlier july then 
24th and over here maybe you can put up a comma so these two forms these two formats they are right as far as dates are concerned in letter writing now once the heading part is over including the address of the addressee and the date the next important thing is the salutation part now the salutations can be different it in, it it depends to whom you are writing a letter to maybe if you are writing a letter to your relatives then maybe my dear father my dear mother my dear sister my dear brother then it can be to your friends my dear friend then can be to acquaintances then can be to your professors teachers lecturers so it depends to whom you are but generally generally the letters as far as informal letters are concerned generally return to the friends and relatives over here suppose we write a letter to our friend so maybe the salutation will be something like this my dear friend now in this m should be capital and this f should be capital and don't put any comma once you put a comma that will be wrong now once this salutation part is over the next important thing is the body of the letter now in the body of the letter the important thing is as a, as we discussed earlier that the letter is highly informal so don't use any formal language as far as informal letter is considered or concerned now once you start the things maybe you will have to check out what sort of letter you are writing and then accordingly you will have to frame the language but straight away straight away come to the point include any formalities there is no need to say ki how are you i received your letter after a long time and i am in the best of the health and spirits nowadays such language is considered to be obsolete so straight away start the language suppose for an example you have to write a letter to your friend telling him about your future plans now as we discussed that the introductory parts become very very important maybe you can say i received your letter after a long time you will be happy that i secured first division or maybe you can say i secured good percentage and i want to be a doctor so this becomes your introduction now from the second paragraph we will come to the main content and the main content you will tell ki first of all what thing has prompted you to be a doctor why you want to be a doctor second thing what efforts you will put to be a doctor and third thing which is the concluding part how you will end your letter so this thing we'll check it out with some example later on now once the body of the letter is over we should be not that long it should be not long now once the body of the letter is over that should be followed by the subscription part now the subscription part means the ending the closing how you close your letter or maybe the complimentary close now just check over here suppose you are writing to your friend then maybe you can put up yours sincerely again over here just concentrate on this word yours now generally most of the time students they just write right like this they put apostrophe which is again wrong because over here this word yours has been used in a possessive sense that's why we always use your sincerely and again after the word sincerely don't put any comma that will be considered as wrong and then it should be followed by it should be followed by the name now when you are writing to your relatives or to your friends in that sense just write your initial name that is ajay over here don't put up any surname is that clear now let's move to the format of an formal letter now this will be the format as far as formal letter is concerned now in the formal letter in the formal letter just like in formal letter everything should be left aligned whatever we will write 
everything should be left aligned. For an example, you can just check it out over here. Things are written on the extreme left hand side. It should not be something like this zigzag manner or maybe something like this most of the time. Uh, students, they just write like this. Things should be avoided. Things should be in a straight line and everything should be left aligned. Avoid punctuations. Now, as far as a formal letter is concerned, first of all will be the heading part. Again, in the heading part, address of the sender and date. They are the two important things. They should be mentioned. Just check it out over here. The address of the addressee is given and followed by the date part. Now, once this heading part is over, that will be followed by the receiver's designation as far as formal letter is concerned. Now, see, we are writing to the director and the director of it should be over here, this Reliance Industrial. Reliance Industries, and it should be over here. So, Reliance, then Industries. Now, whatever the address is, this will be the proper address as far as receiver's designation is concerned. Now, that should be followed by the salutation part. Now, the salutation, we can write down, Sir. At times, maybe we can write down, Dear Sir. It is up to us. Now, the most important thing is the subject part. As far as formal letters are concerned, we always put up a subject part. Subject should be short, should be catchy. See over here, and a subject line to focus the attention. Now, once these formalities are over, then we will come to the body of the letter. Now, just like the form, uh, informal letter, the body of the letter in the formal letter is also very, very important. But the difference over here is we will have to make few formal lines at the start. Maybe you now we can say, okay, I want to draw your kind attention. Maybe something like this. Another we can use formal words. Now, again, first the introduction part, then followed by the main content, and then the concluding part. These things will be included as far as body of the letter is concerned. Now, once the body of the letter is over, we will come to the subscription part. That is, again, the complementary close part. Now, in this one, yours faithfully, followed by your full name. In this one, we will not write our initial name. We will write our complete and full name. Maybe at times followed by signature also. Now, this is an example. Just read the things very, very carefully. Now, the letter is, write a letter to your friend, congratulating him on his success in the exams. Simple question. Now, as we discussed earlier, initially, we will put up the address. Now, over here, we have put up the address, 23rd Adarsh Nagar. Then, there is no punctuation at the end of the line. Then, New Delhi, postal code, followed by the date. Now, the second important thing was this salutation part. See over here, now, my dear friend. Again, there is no punctuation. And the entire letter is left aligned. So, this is the important thing. Now, straight away, without any formalities, we have started the things. My joy knew no bounds. When I saw your name, this should be your. When I saw your name, along with your photograph, on the front page of today's newspaper, as a merit holder. Now, I was least surprised of your success because I had full faith in your capabilities. You have made every one of us proud with your grand success. You always had the support and guidance of your parents and teachers. They also worked hard with you. I once again congratulate you on your glorious achievement and pray God to shower further success onto you. Convey my best regards to your parents. Yours sincerely, Manish. Now, this basically is an example of an informal letter. I hope you all enjoyed this session. Thank you.